everyone and welcome to another edition of MSW Weekly Update. I am your host, the MSW World Heavyweight Champion and the owner of MSW, The Clinic. Well, this past week has been one of the most eventful weeks that we have ever seen in the history of MSW and the GWA. First, this past Friday, UWA Extreme Massacre. Now, the UWA doesn't tend to have much to do with MSW, but this show was different. Lil Ace won an eight-man tournament making three successful defenses of the coveted GWA World Backyard Wrestling Championship against Derek Knight, Jet, and BK. But then, at the end of the show, a six-man match was held to determine who would be the new holder of the Money in the Bank contract and would earn a shot at the GWA World Backyard Wrestling Championship at any point they want within the next year. And Derek Knight ended up winning the whole thing, so he now holds that Money in the Bank contract. But the law uh, brought in a shocker because although Derek Knight has the Money in the Bank contract, the law never got his rematch for the title after losing it to the kid last year. And the law, with, uh, with the blessing of the GWA Board of Directors, they agreed to this. He cashed in his rematch clause and won the title from Lil Ace at the end of Extreme Massacre this past Friday. So definitely a shocking situation there as four GWA World Backyard Wrestling Championship matches in one night. That's unprecedented. But then the action did not stop there. As this past Monday, the GWA held a show called Aftershock, where MSW and the XW, or excuse me, MSW and the UWA, there is no more XWF, uh, MSW and the UWA came together for one show. And it, it really was a huge show with two promotions contributing. And it featured a four-man tournament with the winner getting the first shot at the Laws GWA World Backyard Wrestling Championship that day. And Ozzy Lyons, who is also the UWAX Division Champion, the MSW World Television Champion, one half of the MSW World Tag Team Champions, he has it all, and he emerged victorious. Unfortunately, he was unable to win the title from the law as the law made a successful first defense. So now the law continues his reign as the GWA World Backyard Wrestling Champion. And in fact, on a very special edition of the walk-in clinic during that show, two matches were announced for MSW End of School Bash, our next show in late May. These two matches are some huge matches, some of the hugest matches in the End of School Bash history. First up, I will defend my MSW World Heavyweight Championship against Derek Knight. Derek Knight and I have a lot of history. We've had a lot of matches together. And now it's for the big one, for the MSW World Heavyweight Championship. The first time that we've ever gone one-on-one -on -one for this title. And I plan on emerging victorious. Derek Knight's been getting a lot of title shots as of late, but he hasn't been able to win the big one yet. He's a former MSW World Heavyweight Champion, but that was two years ago. And, you know, some say that this is his time. Some believe that he can win the MSW World Heavyweight Championship from me. And in my reign, which will be about, uh, about 10 or 11 months long by then, but I think differently. We'll just have to see how that one turns out. And the main event, the law will defend the GWA World Backyard Wrestling Championship against the Kid and Lil Ace in a three-way match. The Kid and Lil Ace, this is the championship rematch for both of them. They both lost the title recently, and this is their rematch. They will challenge the Law in this big three-way match. One fall to a finish. Uh, this is going to be a big one, definitely. I mean, two former champions challenging the current champion. Three of the top wrestlers in the backyard wrestling world today. It will definitely be a classic. And it all happens at MSW End of School Bash 2010, the weekend of May 29th and 30th. But in the meantime, uh, we'll show you a, a, li a little of uh, exclusive footage of the Law winning the GWA World Backyard Wrestling Championship last Friday. So enjoy this exclusive footage of the Law's title win. And we'll see you here next week for another edition of MSW Weekly Update. Lil Ace defended his title three times already today. And he will not quit. Lil Ace will not quit. He has 
the heart and determination Lil Ace does not have giving up in him. Lil Ace does not know how to give it up. All Lil Ace knows how to do is to fight, to keep on fighting until the end. And Lil Ace may be the law's greatest challenge to date. The law now with the a claw, shades of the well, shades of the Von Erics on little Ace, lets it go. Now what's the law going to go for here? The law letting little Ace get back to his feet. Little Ace goes for that urinagi, that rock bottom, but the law counters. The law blocks. Little Ace is exhausted, but little Ace is still fighting. Little Ace still has the will to fight in him. But now, the law is just going to be a power driver, a power bomb, tombstone, no, styles clash. <laughs> Letting them think about it. Styles clash! Bam. Styles clash! Styles clash driving Lil Ace's face right into the ground. And the law not going for the cover. I'm not sure what's going on here. As he looking to deliver some more punishment? The law getting up. Spear. 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 The law spear. leading the crowd spear. in a chant for the spear. spear. It appears spear. like the law spear. wants spear. a spear. 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 The law spear. wants to spear a little spear. ace spear. and become spear. the new spear. GWA spear. champion for the second time in his career. No, low ace blocks it. Spine busted by low ace. But that took the last bit of energy that low ace had in him. Low ace will not give up. Lil Ace will just fight until all his energy is gone, and that point may be now. The referee once again administers the 10 count. Both men are down. They've had so many grueling matches today, and now they are having this grueling title match. Let's go, Law. Come on, get up. Let's go, Law. This match has been going on a little over eight minutes, and both men are already exhausted because of all the other matches they've wrestled, including that six-man tag team war. Lil Ace goes for the cover. Two. Two, ah, two, two count only. Two Lil Ace count. did not get the pinfall that he needed to remain champion. <laughs> now Lil Ace with that uh, that sleeper hold, that chin lock on, on the law. One. You can see the law is about to pass out here. Low Ace cranking it on. If that hand drops a third time. No, the hand's up. If the hand had dropped a third time, Low Ace would remain champion. But the law is still in this. We talked about Low Ace's fight, a will to fight. We talked about Low Ace's survival. But the law has the exact same qualities. Neither man in this match will give up. Neither man will allow themselves to be pinned until every breath is gone from their body. Every, both men in this match will fight till the end no matter what. We saw that at Starcade when these two went one on one. We saw that when these two were the finals, the final two participants in the gauntlet for the gold when the law first won the GWA title in 2008. And we are seeing it here now at the fifth annual Extreme Massacre. We are seeing the drive that these two men have to become champion. This could be a legacy making match for Lil Ace. Or this could be to invigorate the legacy of the law. Choke slam coming up and a choke slam by the law. Now the law is standing there. Is he waiting for Lil Ace to get up? Does he want that spear this time? This is one of the gutsiest performances by both men in the history of all of backyard wrestling. Lil Ace just choking, apparently. But he's still hanging on. He will not give up. The Law with like a little rake to the eyes. The Law taking the belt now. Lil Ace's championship belt. And the Law feels that that is his. The Law whips Ace into the corner. The Law has the belt. Spears the belt into Lil Ace. One, two, three. Ring the bell! That's it. For the second oh. time in his career, the law has become the GWA World Backyard Wrestling Champion. Where's that boy's head? Here is your winner and the new GWA World Backyard Wrestling Champion. Where's the law?